Hey, welcome to Action Dine VR. My name is Matt. This is about Gods of Gravity. This is a strategy game that's a lot like the game Risk, if you remember that one. It was a board game. And if you don't know what a board game is, look it up. <laughs> so this game is pretty cool. I do really like this one. They initially were charging money for it, but then they made it free. Uh, but then you can spend 15 bucks and get some add-ons. It gives you a bunch of other goodies. Having paid for it initially, I think I got all of that stuff for free. So I actually can't tell you what you don't get and what you get because I think I already have everything. Everything that I need anyway. The cosmetic stuff I don't know if I really care about. What was I doing here? I was checking out the different missions. So let me just jump right into the action here. You, <laughs> your character is considered a, a, a god. Each one has different abilities, but you've got your ships floating around your main planet here, and you sort of scoop them up with this little black hole ball. And I was accidentally activating a warp to somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of cool so you create like a black hole and they they shoot out the other end but you can also sort of kind of grab them like this here we go that's what i was trying to do you can then throw them at like a moon or a planet you know if you don't have decent aim they're just gonna go off into the space so you want to you want to try and get it somewhat uh, somewhat close. I usually, <laughs> I don't risk it. I go right up there and just kind of you throw them and they go into orbit. So the idea is you get a bunch of these moons under your control, a bunch of planets. Um, the planets provide power. The moons overall provide production of more ships. Um, a little number above each planet shows roughly like what its power is at. So when you send a fleet, you want to make sure that it's, you know, decently powerful to take it out. And that's totally taken from that game, Risk. And um, so it is a strategy game, but it's also like quick, I would say kind of real time strategy, but not in probably not in the the sense that that, <laughs> that gaming term is usually used. It's definitely not command and conquer or anything like that. But there is a strong strategy aspect to it of kind of deciding like what to go for first and when to make your move on your opponent. And there can be several uh, opponents at a time. I would really love to try this one with uh, some other people, at least at least one other person. So far, I've only played against the, you know, I'm just playing like the campaign against the computer player. Some of these get kind of interesting, like in this at one point, the sun uh, begins to die out, expand and engulf those inner planets. In some, there's a black hole, some involved. In this one, you can see there's asteroid mining. So there's a lot of, so if you're kind of a space nerd like me, you can, even if you're not like me, if you're just a space nerd, <laughs> you can get a little bit of your, you know, space, space nerd goodness out of this game. But let's see what we're dealing with here. We've got, they're saying it's comfortable. Uh, yeah, I mean, for the most part, I think the one thing to put in consideration is you're kind of like if you're okay with just kind of floating uh because like you know don't look down right you're just you're just floating in space really so when you are moving the the main style of movement that i believe that i remember that they have you do is uh like a grip where you grab and kind of pull your way and you know you can grip and uh <laughs> you know, can't think of the word for it like where you like pulling apart pushing together for zooming in and zooming out like making the world bigger or smaller um i opted to go with a joystick 
like freestyle movement in which you're just kind of floating around. But you can also point your controller and I believe hitting the trigger and you just you just magically like teleport uh, there. So there's not a there's not there's a lot of movement required, but there also really isn't. And when you do move, it's not like it's not super overwhelming because it's really just this small group of like objects that's having most of the movement you know the background generally just stays the same so it, it for motion comfort i wouldn't be i wouldn't be too worried about it so i think i would overall agree with their <laughs> their comfortable uh assessment now this is single player and multiplayer now they say there's no co-op i wonder if you could make that happen somehow if it's not actually in there i always love co-op i like you know why why fight your friend when you can both win right uh this supports sitting standing and room scale room scale that would be interesting if your play space was big enough to fit the whole the whole galaxy and just kind of walk over there that would be that would be super cool i wonder if anyone's ever tried that with this one so you're not having to do any of the movement stuff at all you, the game space is just kind of floating in the middle of the room you'd need a you'd need a big room i i believe because it is it's a good size like game board But you're not really you're not in a vehicle you're you know when you're at the menus you saw what that looked like it's just some flat panels so as far as motion comfort what you're seeing is this is this is pretty much um pretty much everything except wall punch risk now this is this is important folks <laughs> Wall punch risk, what I think on the... I think this one actually... This could be a medium. I could, you know, we've got some throwing. I'm going for it. This one's a medium wall punch risk. That's... Uh, it's official. Um, so, yeah. You know, if you're trying this one out, watch... Uh, watch your pets. Careful furniture. Duct tape the doors shut. No, no, you don't need to do that. But what you can do is pick up one of these wall punch risk shirts at actiondyingindustries.com. <laughs> All right, enough of that. But yeah, they sell this one, like I said, for free. <laughs> so you still have to go to the store and, like, say, get, you know, but um, works on the Quest 3, Quest Pro, Quest 2, and Quest 1. Internet connection is required to play it, but this is uh, this is a blast to play. I think you do got to be somewhat into, uh, you know, like strategy games. But you know, think of it like kind of like chess. Uh, it, you know, if you've connect four, if you've ever done anything like that, similar. You know, it's real basic, uh, but tons of fun. I absolutely love this game. So not much more to say about it beyond that. So thanks for watching and take care.